uh, welcome Constantina Bush and Eduardo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a bit nervous here, but uh, mm. yeah. Good morning and welcome to Come Radio at Kin FM. Constantina Bush and my special guest here today. Could you tell us where you come from, first of all? All right. Um, well, I come from one little cattle station just outside from Catherine there. I don't want to say the name because all my family might get shame if I go outing them there. But um, so Catherine Northern Territory, just a little bit outside from there. That's where I've been come from. Okay. And uh, you're here for a special reason in Alice Springs. Yeah, well, we um, we got one show on tonight at the Darulu and Art Centre, 7 p.m., and it's called Constantina Bush Ride the Night Train. Um, Constantina Bush with me, with the band, and um, the band is called The Night Train, but it's also a title of uh, one of our songs, and Eduardo here is one of the co-creators of the show. And could you tell us how you wrote the show and where it all began? Eduardo. Oh, look, he, he doesn't really speak English, this freak. We... Um, you know, we've been meet each other and like even do really good music and I've been writing up all the lyric for the song. So together we make about really good songs and that's how we've been come like five years ago we've been doing another one show but we've been cover up um all the Motown songs and even just say like um through interpreter, uh Spanish one, to Creole, that um you know, he wanted to write original songs and that. So he even make all the music up on his little guitar there, that flamenco kind. And I thought it was a little bit too sexy for me because I'm mild, you know, I just come from the bush. Like I reckon me get sexy, but I'm not that sexy. Like them Spanish mob with that dance, let's chuck that dress around. Cause that's mob, you know, we got rules. But I've been sort of loosened up over the years and now I thought it was ready for that show. So five years later, we've been make this one now. And how did you get involved with all of this and how you how created are you? Uh, well, I've been, um, you know, I've been run away from uh, Northern Territory when that intervention been coming, you know, when they've been putting up all them rules on us mob and that, no shame, you know, and liar one too, they've been making up that uh, excuse for putting in that intervention. And I've been going down to Melbourne because I wanted to always be, you know, like showgirl, sing, dance, I've looked at musicals on TV and think I can do that. and. So I've been going to Melbourne and I've been become like showgirl and people start hiring me and we've been going around all the communities too doing show for Aboriginal people like my own kind. And um, my two bushettes, so it used to be called Constantina Bush and the Bushettes. And then them bushettes been go off and make bushettes of their own, got boyfriends, you know, they've been a baby. And I've been just do a little bit solo show. This one been look me singing and come up, try pick me up. And Eduardo. I said, no, you're too sh short for me. I need a man with tall, but then he would show me his money in his wallet and that bulge <laughs> from that wallet. And I thought, oh yeah, come on then for a little bit, you know. And then, yeah, I made him buy all my dress and everything. He yeah. can do everything for me too, this way. So um, when you uh, start the show, do you have your band there as well? Yeah, um, at first, I, I would never have band. I've been just dancing to uh, and singing to, what you call them thing? Background music. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? You sabi Edward? Backing track. Backing tracks, that's it, yeah. I've been just dancing and singing to them now, but um, when he even looked me doing that, he said, you need a band behind you um, through that interpreter now. And we ended up getting his friends to come in and then they did the Motown music. So all the covers I was doing anyway, they've been just doing it, got a live band. And it was so much more different um, to perform got a live band because you got real people there and that, uh, just how they can create music, it just freaks me out. I still, to this day, I get up on stage with them and I just feel so blessed to be there with them. And uh, Constantina, can you tell us where the show is tonight and what time it starts? Yeah, it's going to be at the Araluan Arts Centre at 7pm. Okay, and how long does it go for? It's go for only one hour. Um, yeah, but we could drag it out with a little bit of audience participation. I shouldn't have said that. People might get frightened to come now. Oh, well, I won't be. But I'll warn you, Mob, too, this one in a little bit adult show, so, like, don't bring them up your kids there. Yeah, and um, so how much is the tickets and what time the show starts? Well, I don't know how much them ticket might be. I don't know, $25 or something? It's about $30, I suppose. I'll read it out oh, in a minute. We're anyway. getting famous now. The oh, wow. getting bigger. Yes, and it's uh, really good to have you in the studio. And uh, do you have anything, last words you'd like to say to our listeners? Yeah, all you mob, you've got to be really good to each other. Free ticket. 
Oh, we have two free tickets to ah, give away. Ah, we've got away. two free tickets. Thank you, Eduardo. You can speak a yeah. little bit English this week. Okay. And um, we have two free tickets to give away, double passes. Uh, you can call in on... Oh, I get organised here with all this paperwork. And I've got the number here, radio. Some fall off, papers fall on the ground. That's okay. The number is 89519771. To call for the tickets there. Two double passes to give away. You're listening to Come Radio, Akin FM Morning Mix here. And in the studio with me is Ed Eduardo. Eduardo and... Constantino Bush. Yes, they um having a good yarn with us. And uh, would you like to say anything about our nice weather for you? Look, this is really beautiful weather. I've got to go lighting in the Sunday. You know how morning and what people do, all the white people, they lighting and try sunbag. Because I've been wearing that shirt on this thing and I've got a little bit of lighting up a little part so I to sit down in the sun and make him dark. I like my arm part. I think I'll come join you, lay in the sun too, get more darker. Wow, it should be funny. <laughs> and uh, Constantina, um, do, how many changes do you make in one show? Well, in this one we only do one because, you know, like it's only an hour. Um, in the other show, I've been used to have one another one girl used to perform with me and I do a song, go get changed, she come on do a song, she go get changed and we swap luggage at now. And I've been have four changes in that show, but in this one I only got one because I want to spend as much time with the band on stage as possible because there's this keyboard player there and he's real spunky. One. What's in the show? Well, we got a lot of um, original songs and we've been putting them in like really funky soul music, you know, um, and it's just like... Every show that I've been do before I've been do this one, it, it was like I've been trying to do like adult theme and that, but when you've been go out on the stage, you've been look kids in the audience, so I had to change up straight away on the stage. Them girl looking at me too, like what we're we gonna do? But I, lucky for me, I can just wing it, you know, and change about words on the spot. So we had to write different shows, and so we've been go like one A, two B, and three C. So if we never been somewhere, we always do one A because that's the first part and the second part. So we do like that because us we all lived in different areas so um we had to rehearse like that i'll just say the girls we got two c and they look at what's in c and what's in number two and they'd rehearse that by themselves when we got together the show was ready but with this one here because it's live music and we wrote original music we went on a little journey and we thought we'd make it more adult themed and um we've been right like you know um cheeky things there's a lot of banter with the audience there's a little bit audience participation i give a little bit creole lesson to all the audience mob they can come up and learn about how to talk properly in my language there like catherine and um um what else eduardo eduardo oh dancing yeah um we've been dancing a little bit uh you know like that reggae sort of style and then um we just end with uh, a nice little beautiful tune about how everybody should come together and be nice to each other, all the Muninga and the Black Play, you know? Yeah, and um, Constantina, do you do the Flamengo, the Spanish dance? Eduardo's trying to teach me, but I'm having a little bit difficulty learning it properly because he's a little bit short, you know, and every time he tries to spin me around, I end up standing on his toe. Got my heel on purpose real hard, too. Oh, and um, we, you can call, uh, catch Constantina at Araluan tonight at 7 uh, 7 p.m. and uh, should be a great show. Thank you so much for having us in the studio. And you're very welcome.